guys and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is of course another weekly vlog. It's already Friday morning. I just got back from Pilates and I thought this golden hour was just too much to pass up, um, but I'm literally <laughs> in my parking garage. Um, and we're about to go make some breakfast because that was an intense Pilates workout. So yeah, let's go make some breakfast and some coffee and then we'll get to work. my shower um, it is like mid-morning now it's like 10 30 and I just I did some work after breakfast took a little break to take a shower because I was sweaty and gross and now we're here <laughs> I put on some shower or some um, body oil from Bath and Body Works so I put on my PJs just to let it soak in for a little bit but I am gonna change once I finish my skincare but I thought I'd show you guys my skincare because um, I know the Sephora sale is coming up and it'll probably be up by the time I post this vlog, but just wanted to recommend something that I really love. It's the Glow Recipe BHA AHA Toner and I'm almost out, like I'm really sad. So I'm definitely going to be repurchasing this one. Um, I think I purchase it every year at the sale, so I absolutely adore it and it feels so nice when you put it on, but it definitely has made my skin a lot glowier than it used to be. I feel really confident with my skin right now. Like I'm so happy with where it's at. And then I'm gonna go with my gua sha. I just got this at TJ Maxx, honestly. It's not anything special, but I keep it in the fridge. Um, but I do five strokes on my forehead on each side. And then I do my, what are these? My forehead lines five times. And usually by then it's like kind of dry. So I gua sha as I put on my skincare stuff. <laughs> um, Next, I have the Ordinary's Caffeine Solution, and I just take two tiny drops on my fingers and put this on my under eyes. And then I will do the wash on my under eyes, but I just wanted to show you guys my updated morning routine because I really feel, uh, or morning skincare routine, because I really feel like it's made my skin a lot glowier, and I feel very confident in my skin where it's at right now, and yeah. And then next, I go in with my Mary Kay Vitamin C Serum. This goes all over the face. I'm like almost out of it, though. I might have to shake it to get some more out. But just an update on this weekend, guys. So some of Ryan's family has weddings. This has a wedding this weekend. So family's coming into town. So we're probably going to go out to eat tonight and meet them for drinks after the rehearsal slash rehearsal dinner. So tonight, I mean, this weekend's gonna be pretty fun. I just did my uh, cheekbones right here. You can kind of see like a line that, that develops because of it, and now I'm like a little dry. So I'll go in with my um, moisturizer before I finish the gua sha. But I'm using the Cream Shop um, 
Clean Beauty Pure Solution Moisturizer. I've really been liking this. I just picked it up on a whim at Ulta a couple weeks ago, and I've just been really liking it. But yeah, so tonight we'll be meeting up with people and going out, and then tomorrow is the wedding um, at like 3 p.m., and then probably going out after that. <laughs> so just a busy weekend full of like interactions and social stuff. A little update on Kai, because I know I kind of vented to you guys last time. Um, he's doing a lot better. So we actually kind of figured out that um, his kennel was causing a lot of the problems, which we thought we could not trust him outside the kennel. So we bought a Furbo, which is like the dog camera and it follows them and you can give them treats and talk to them through the Furbo. So it's really cool. Um, so we got that and we've been testing, like leaving him. Like I've left him for like, we started like, you know, a minute, a couple minutes, walked around the hallway. Um, and then Ryan and I went on a walk the other day for like 20 minutes and he was totally fine. He didn't, he didn't whine, he didn't howl, he didn't bark, he didn't chew anything bad, like he was great. So we're gonna test it out tonight and see how he does for a longer period of time. And then we did book um, a Rover, which is like a dog sitter for Saturday night, because I know we're gonna be gone from like 3 p.m. till midnight or something like that. So it's gonna be a very long time. So we booked him a sitter overnight for Saturday. So we're gonna drop him off on Saturday and pick him up on Sunday. Um, I'm gonna go with my Innisfree uh, sunscreen, SPF 36. And the trick is to do um, your two knuckles lines on your fingers. That's how you know how much sunscreen you need. But anyways, yeah, so he's gonna get dropped off at a Rover, but he's doing so much better. We also bought him like some enrichment treat things. So we got a Kong, well, he had a Kong. We just like pulled it out and we've been putting pumpkin in there and, and, um, and we bought some dog specific peanut butter and we've been trying that out for him. So that's been working a lot better. He seems to be totally fine when we leave him if he's out of his kennel. It was really the kennel that was like troubling him. So I feel so bad that it was like that simple of a solution. And I really hope he does well tonight when we leave him. But I think he's gonna do really good now that he has the freedom to like walk around, lay on the couch, which he's allowed on one of the couches. We have two and he's allowed on one with his own little blanket on there. So, um, yeah, so things are looking up for him. So that's great news for you guys. Um, and yeah, I'm probably gonna go change into some real clothes um, and then probably do like a light makeup. I'll probably do some more makeup later on today after work. But yeah, that's the update for now. And I guess I'll see you guys later. You guys, I just wanted to show you the final look because I think the makeup came out really natural and super pretty. I definitely want to try the new e.l.f. Halo Glow blushes because I want like a glowy blush. Right now I just put like a glowy powder blush on top, but I want a glowy um, liquid blush to wear for the summer because I'm really feeling the glowy face look. But anyways, and then I put on my little bolero that I got from Old Navy, an Amazon workout top, and then my just airy leggings because that's usually what I wear every day too. <laughs> To work from home is leggings so but yeah i feel really cute and then this will be really easy to transition um after work to go out with friends so yeah i will see you guys later
is it is a lot later <laughs> and it is Tuesday um, and I just didn't edit this video because I did put up a Sunday reset on Monday instead of putting up my vlog so yeah it is currently Tuesday I'm actually about to go out with friends to taco Tuesday my hair is a little wet because I tried to refresh the curls um, so it's still drying but I just wanted to give you guys a little recap of the weekend so you did see that on Friday we went out we tried out a new bar we met some of the family that was coming in town and we kind of bar hopped that night and we ended at a diner it was actually the best end to the night ever um, we started off the dinner at like 11 30 with cheesecake and then we had um, I had a grilled cheese Ryan had a burger and then um, one of them had a big old Caesar salad that looked really good and um, like a breakfast waffle sandwich. So it looked really good. Um, but that was Friday night and then Saturday was the wedding. It started at three. So it was pretty much like mostly an all day thing. So it was a lot of fun. The venue, the church venue was absolutely gorgeous. The actual venue of the um, reception was really amazing as well. It was in a really beautiful hotel and um, it was just so much fun. We had a lot of fun dancing and everything and Ryan's parents were there and it's just honestly I think it's the funnest thing ever when you have different generations jamming out to music at weddings. Like I think it's my favorite thing because they'll dance to your style of music and you'll dance to theirs. It's just really cute. So I had a really great time um, and then the wedding party wanted to go out after so we did go to I think two bars and then we kind of just called it a night um, and then Sunday we literally just stayed at the house all day um, did a whole lot of nothing because Ryan actually had to leave for a work trip on Monday so he's out of town pretty much this whole week um, he comes back Thursday night which is actually his birthday so I will be sure to include the birthday shenanigans in next week's vlog but yeah that is just the update from this weekend also wanted to let you know that Kai did amazing by himself on Friday night we left him probably for about four or five hours since 7 p.m. so that would be about yeah about five hours um, and he did really well. He was kind of on the furbo. It notifies you when he's howling and crying and stuff like that. So he did that from about seven to eight and then he stopped um, all together and he just sat on the couch. We left him a Kong, he ate his Kong um, and he just chilled for the rest of the night. So that was really great to see that. Um, and then Saturday he had um, a dog washer who watched him and here he comes cause he heard his name. Um, who watched him over the weekend and he did great. So yeah, he had a really great weekend and I'm actually about to bring him to go with me to Taco Tuesday. Um, so yeah, but that's just a little update for you guys and I wanted to close off this vlog with you guys. So yeah, thank you so, so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you all in the next one. Bye.